Alcohol to go is back. The New York State Legislature approved it in the recently passed state budget. But in order to get a to-go cup, you need to buy substantial food to go with it. News Channel 34's Jamie DeLine explains what kind of food this means. On Monday, the New York State Liquor Authority providing some clarity as to what types of food customers need to buy to go along with their alcohol to go orders. Items like sandwiches, soups, salads, hot dogs and wings are all considered substantial food items. But a bag of chips, candy or even just a handful of lettuce are not. Restaurant owner Dominic Pernomo has been an advocate for alcohol to go. During the pandemic, it was it was certainly a vital lifeline. You know, a lot of people were getting takeout food and, and, and they want the restaurant experience at home. And that includes, you know, some of the cocktails that we have that have five, six, seven different ingredients. In it. And it's not things that people have stocked in their home bar. It's not things that people probably have the time or the patience for. So this allows them to kind of create that that experience once again, you know, in the comfort, comfort and convenience of their own home. Assemblywoman Pat Fahey sponsored a bill for alcohol to go. She credits her colleagues in the assembly as well as the governor for getting it passed. She says to her, this is about so much more than just promoting alcohol. This is about making sure that we, um, uh, we support the economic revitalization of our main streets and our downtown corridors that have suffered so much during COVID. Alcohol to go has been authorized for the next three years and it prohibits restaurant owners from selling full bottles of alcohol to customers. The state liquor authority also making it clear that the contents of a bottle of wine or liquor cannot be transferred into a same or equivalent bottle. This would be a violation of law. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.